What's going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here back with another Java game development tutorial and today I am starting a new series and this is going to be how to create your own Java 2D platformer game uh, from scratch. So basically I want to go all out on this series and uh, I'll, I'll take you through it in a second but basically we're going to be using Java for this project. Uh, I assume you already have Java installed. If you don't, there are many sources on the internet that uh, teach you how to install Java onto your system and all of that fun stuff. How to use an IDE. We're going to be using Java uh, uh, Eclipse Juno IDE for our uh, actual creation for this game. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First off, before what I like to do with any series that I start right off the bat, I'm going to pop into Paint here. And I'm just going to kind of sketch out what our final game is going to look like. right? So I said I wanted to go full out. I want to make an actual series that is complete and uh, brings you through all of the basic steps that you need to just expand on the game and make it your own. So for this, we're going to have a menu. So if we just let's say menu here, we'll try and do that as best we can. We'll probably have some nice... Uh, buttons if not uh, uh, go all out on this I mean because he here's the thing with other tutorials out there and other tutorials I have made yeah we've made menus we made the basic concept but I'm gonna actually bring you through something that looks good so you know you mouse over it and maybe maybe the uh, the button shakes a little bit or something or you know this the mild juicy effects that go into a game as well maybe we'll have like a nice uh, parallax cloud background here and I add our menu and just all of that sorts of stuff so you know we'll have play uh, options quit and then we go to uh, what I want is a if we go and do this here uh, I'm still kind of going through in my head but we're either going to be doing a level select system where there's going to be uh, many levels and uh, you can basically select the level that's what a level select is or on the other hand having a load option and it automatically loads uh, the last level you were at and basically when you quit the game it's gonna load up what that exact point where you were at and everything so we can either go with the level select uh, system or the load system uh, we, you guys you guys will be able to choose later down uh, in the line but for now I mean we're just gonna be setting up frameworks and stuff like that so not too much uh, I'm not gonna be worrying about this too much but uh so yeah there we go and now uh, let's go to the gameplay real quick so we'll run over here and basically I want you know platforms here I want moving platforms here will be our guy um, not sure if I want to actually have graphics here or if I just want to make it like a cool cool like boxes and like this neon sort of platformer game we could have a cool little like shadow effect that runs off our player the, you know the faster it goes or something like that uh, a lot of you were asking me for that how to how I did that effect in my Ludum Dare video so we might be going over that um, so yeah I mean we've got coins that we can pick up we're, we're just gonna go through all of it and uh, I'm pretty excited so uh, yeah let's begin I hope you have a good idea on what it's all going to be about so uh, yeah this first episode what we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating the window for our game so let's go ahead and start that I'm gonna exit out now and here we are in Eclipse so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and create a new Java project now you know usually people will name their projects tutorial or something I'm not even gonna do that I'm gonna I'm gonna basically name this as I would uh, creating my own game off camera you know just just how I would actually create a game except teach you in the process so I'm gonna call it like neon platformer something like that so we go ahead and go in our package explorer here first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a new package and you can kind of think of packages as uh, like a organization type of deal so you know you want to organize all of your code so you know if you have a graphic code graphical code you could put that into a graphics package if you have you know uh, cool like you know mobs say you had mobs in the game then you could uh, put it in a mobs package so it's just organizing stuff so usually what you do is it's kind of reverse it's this kind of convention with the packages you say com and then you say your name so I'm just gonna say real touch GML and then you do dot and then you do your game so I'm gonna say neon 
And then, uh, usually that's it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna branch this off into uh, different sort of branches. So it's every all of my packages are gonna be com.realtouchgml.neon and then dot and you know whatever it is. So I'm gonna say window. All right, so in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new class right off the bat. So now, let me just stress this real quick before anybody uh, you know, starts posting in the comments such as, you know, this doesn't work or please help me. Uh, what we're doing in these first couple of tutorials are, is very basic, okay? Now, please know basic Java before coming in to game development. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there on the internet you can learn basic Java pretty easily. Um, I never took a, a class for Java or anything like this, so I've learned all of this on the internet and uh, and through myself. So, you know, uh, and there, and there's, there's been some books as well, but basically, no basic Java before you start doing game development. That's ideal. You want to do that for any language. Um, Java is a good place to start if you want to start game programming. Then you can go on to C plus plus and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and name this. I'm gonna call it Window, and we're just creating this class just for the sakes of creating a window. That's basically what this class's goal is going to be: is to create a window. So, like I said, you're gonna want to know basic Java. So, if this includes knowing what a constructor is, so if you don't know what a constructor is. Uh, you don't know basic Java and I suggest you go learn it. All right, so I'm gonna create a constructor for our window here. Let's get out of caps. So public window, and I'm gonna create a couple parameters here, int w, int h, and string title. All right, and this stands for width, height, and the title of our game. So what I'm gonna say is, well, first off, yeah, let's create this, and now let's create one more class, and I'm gonna call this game. And this is going to be the game class. And with our game class, I'm going to extend canvas and implements runnable. Okay, since we've in implemented the interface runnable, we're going to need to add the required library or uh, method of public void run. And that is for the thread. Okay, and then let's add the generated serial version ID so it stops yelling at us. There we go. So now in our window here, also with the parameter, I'm just gonna say game game. All right. Now that we've got this, let's go ahead and head to our game here. Let's create a new, uh, or let's create the main method. So public static void main, string args. Now you should know the main method. And we're gonna create a new window off of this. So I'm gonna say new window. Uh, our our uh, our height so or our width uh, eight eight hundred uh, height six hundred our string is going to be neon platformer or neon platform game prototype okay and then we're just going to say new game so initialize a new game out of that so basically this line right here is going to create our window for us now if we go and run it. Nothing happens, of course, because our constructor doesn't actually do anything. So we're gonna we're gonna start that now. So what I'm gonna do is say game dot set preferred size new dimension w and h. Control Shift O to import that. Copy this. Paste it two more times and maximum size and minimum size. Min I, mum. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're now going to create a new J frame. So J frame frame equals new J frame. And in here, we're just going to put the title. Control Shift O to import that. And what I'm going to say is frame dot add game right off the bat. Then I'm going to pack it. And then I'm going to you know just set all of the basic. Uh, J frame stuff. So, you know, set default close operation, set resizable to false, frame dot set, uh, location relative to null, so our window starts in the middle of our screens, set visible to true. So now if we went ahead and ran it, as you can see, we got our window here. So neon platform game prototype, uh, we've got our big window and everything's golden. So now let's go ahead and start our thread real quick. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new method, public synchronized void start. And I'm also going to create two variables, private boolean running equals false, and a thread, and we'll name it thread. So in our window, we're going to call that start method, so game.start. That's why we made it public. And in here, in our start, I'm going to say if running return. And then running equals true. Thread equals new thread. This and thread.start. So this is going to start our thread. So if we just test out system.out.println, thread has begun. And we'd run it we get the thread has begun. So everything is starting up properly. Everything is golden. I went a little fast here. Let me explain the start method real quick. Uh, right here, if you took this out, it would still run if running return. Uh, basically what that means is if we're already, if this running Boolean uh, value is already true, then and the start method for some reason gets called again, it's gonna know that, hey, we already have a thread initialized and we already started the thread. So creating it again and starting it again would cause a lot of issues. So this is more of a fail safe method. Uh, if you didn't have it, it would still run fine. Uh, again, just a sort of fail safe method. Um, synchronized, that just has to do with threads. Uh, you're gonna wanna have a synchronized uh, method when you have, uh, when you're dealing with threads. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. Uh, so we've got our window class going. This should all make sense to you. Um, if you did not get it, go and leave, it, uh, leave a, uh, a post in the comment section. And hopefully, if I don't get back to you, maybe some of the people in uh, my community of Real Touch GML could help you out. Uh, so you know, if if you are good at Java or you know a little bit, and you see someone in the comments, feel free to help them out. Um, I'll be I'll be in there trying to help you out as much as I can. So yeah, you can leave a like, go and subscribe. Next tutorial, we're going to be learning how to uh, how to start with the uh, main update method here and rendering stuff. Okay, so that's going to be it. Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 100 likes this time. Uh, I am going to be producing videos daily now. So until this series reaches uh, 50, let's go for 50 parts. Um, I will be uploading daily, so I, I should, so a month and a half basically. So there we go. All right, so go leave a like, go and subscribe. 100 likes, and uh, I know I've been rambling on here, but I will see you guys next time. Peace.